welcome back to another video. So a lot of these tech and vintage tech YouTube channels love to do unboxings. I like watching them. It's kind of cool to see somebody opening a box of stuff they don't really know what it is and finding really cool stuff in it. So I thought maybe I could do an unboxing video. Anyway, there was a guy selling an Apple IIc locally. We met up and oddly enough, he brought two boxes worth of stuff. So they looked through them quick to make sure the Apple IIc was in there and, and the monitor that came with it, but I haven't really dug into it. He said there was software included. Uh, I think he said there was a printer in there. But anyway, let's, uh, let's do an unboxing video. Alright, so we've got our two boxes here. Let's uh, set this one on the floor here. This says Apple printer. Let's set that one here. Alright, well let's uh, start opening these and see what we have. Alright, so I think this first box is the goodie box. It seems to have everything in it. So we've got uh, owner's manual, the Apple IIc. We've got the System Utilities book. So uh, the gentleman I bought this from said that this was his computer years and years and years ago and he was just looking to downsize. So he wasn't a collector. He wasn't a, you know, a guy who buys out abandoned storage lockers. This was a, a personal computer and probably everything is in here. But we'll go through it and find out. So cool to have manuals. We've got Going Places with the new Apple IIc. All You'll Need to Know to Get There by Danny Goodman. I don't think this was published by Apple. Or written by Apple. It's got some sample code in it. Yeah, it talks about what it can do. That's pretty cool. A little handy reference. All right, we'll go through that. Uh, Apple IIc Image Writer User's Manual. Very nice. And then we have uh, some foam falling apart attached to this one, but this is the Apple IIc book, Your Complete Guide to Mastering Apple's Newest Computer by Bill O'Brien. Throw the foam in there. Wow, very cool. What is the published date in this book? July 1984. Very cool. All right, and it also mentioned that they have uh, included software. We got a computer, computer made box full of discs here. So we'll run through these in a minute. Uh, let's keep unboxing, we'll come back to the software. So let me set that to the side. So we have a floppy drive. We have a piece of tape on the bottom. That has been there quite a long time. That's falling apart tape. So this is the disc 2C. We have the monitor. So this is that uh, green screen Apple IIc monitor that sits on the stand above the Apple IIc. I, I suspect the power and uh, RCA cable are in one of these boxes, but a cool little monitor. Uh, I had one of these way back, but unfortunately I don't have it, but it's good to have one back. Uh, it's like it's in relatively sh good shape, a little bit yellowed, but uh, otherwise in great shape. So let's set that guy down. And then we have the Apple IIc itself, I believe, in this carrying case with a, an Apple embroidered on it. Uh, very cool. It looks like it used to have a shoulder strap. Not here. Maybe it's in the other box. Maybe it's just lost forever. So let's open this up and we'll check the front pocket too. Nothing in the front pocket. Inside we have an Apple IIc. Yeah, it's in pretty good shape as well. Definitely some schmutz on the keyboard. Looked like it was well used, but uh, overall, seems like it's in relatively good shape. Uh, some dirt on the kickstand. So that's probably to be expected. It was an Apple IIc. Uh, 
And this is the uh, 4000 model. So I think, is this the newer one? I don't know. But it's all here. Seems to be intact. And then in the case with it, we have I have the video cable, RCA cable. We have the TV switch box, computer TV. So this is for connecting uh, to an RF TV. Um, well, we could try that. I have an RF capable TV over here hooked up to my 2600. Very cool. And it's uh, Apple branded. So oh, here's the shoulder strap inside the case and just a twist tie. So I think that's all we have in here. Very cool, very cool carrying case. All right, so let's clear this first box out of the way here. Get into the second box. All right, in here we have some wiring. So the first thing we have is the power supply. Out, power in. Cool. Well, that's good to have because we will need that. Uh, also, in here we have the Apple II mouse. So, this is a mouse that is very similar to the Mac Plus mouse. Um, they're compatible, I believe, both ways. I think there was one mouse model that only worked on either it was the Apple II or on the Mac Plus. I can't remember which is which, but this is definitely an Apple TC mouse. Very cool. I think these are kind of rare at this point, but very cool to have one. Got another power cord here, standard IEC cable. Nothing fancy about it. Not Apple branded or anything. Made by Kawasaki. Alright, and then we have uh, a box here labeled Springboard, the newsroom, career path services for journalists of all ages for Apple II Plus, 2E, 2C. So I think this is just going to be more software. And we've got a user manual, a backup disk certificate, uh, looks like a quick start guide an empty disk sleeve, newsroom data disk, and the newsroom disk two and disk one. Disk two is clip art, and disk one is master. It looks like they're double-sided, so clip art A, clip art B, and then the master program. Very cool. All put that down over here. Next in here we have a binder. This is the Apple, uh, Apple II Apple Works tutorial. Looks like this was copied from a uh, spiral bound book and put into here. So let's get a reference guide, not original. And in here we have a CompuServe information service demo pack. So if you don't know, CompuServe was an old uh, dial up service like. America Online, CompuServe, Prodigy. They were the big three, I think. Um, I think I might have dialed in a CompuServe once or twice on a, on a Mac, but I don't remember for sure. Anyway, this is from March 1st, 1985. We'll just leave this here. Next in here we have another binder with a Age that fell out of it, maybe. Oh, this is a the Apple modem packing list for Apple IIc. Looks like there might be a modem in here. Uh, so in this binder that's falling apart, uh, there's a user guide for Spellworks. Spellworks is a spelling checker and mail merge program for Apple Works running on Apple IIc and IIe computers. Cool. I have head cleaning mini disc. I don't think this has been opened. Yeah, this is still sealed. Well, I won't be opening it, but very cool. 
uh, 10 mini discs. Looks like there is one in here. Is this for the head cleaning mini disc? It's just a shell of a disc. Oh yeah, five and a quarter head cleaning kit. So I think you take this and can put it in here through the top, it looks like. Yeah, so this just opens up on the top and you can insert probably what is a fabric of some type. And it says it contains fluorocarbons and isopropyl alcohol. Although I'm guessing the uh, isopropyl alcohol is probably long since dried up and evaporated. Either way, very cool. I'll put this back in here. Uh, this is the print shop graphics library. Looks like there's a bunch of uh, clip art reference in here. And this is the Apple Works reference manual. Somebody has, uh, again, copied a spiral bound manual page by page, cut them out and put them together in this binder. So that took somebody quite a lot of work to do. So definitely uh, some care went into the ownership and usage of this particular TC, which is really awesome to see. All right, next we have dollars and cents monogram. So I presume this is some sort of uh, accounting software, perhaps. Uh, it's got some disks in here, dollars and cents user manual for the Apple TC. And the disks are, looks like the label fell off this one, dollars and cents monogram, front boot disk, back system disk. There's no label on there, so that is most likely there. And this is the dollars and cents system disk backup. So yeah, it's just a user guide for it. Um, so it says you don't need to know anything about accounting or computers to be able to use dollars and cents. Take just an hour or two to learn the program and a few minutes each week to update your records and you can become as financially organized as any professional accountant. Cool, so probably something like uh, QuickBooks or something like that, but uh, for the Apple TC, really cool. What else do we have in here? Here is a dust cover, I think, for something. Not sure what. There's another one in here as well. Yeah, so I think this is probably for the TC, and this might be for the monitor? I don't know if it's quite big enough. Maybe just the front of the monitor. Yeah, I think that's... Yeah, that looks right. So it goes over the front of the monitor. Um, definitely well used and some dirt stains on them, so I guess they probably did their job and kept things clean. Alright, next to here we have another cable. It's another RCA cable, so this would be for connecting to the monitor or to TV. Uh, here we have a third-party uh, ribbon for the image writer. Uh, it's compatible with a bunch of printers, but first and foremost, it says Apple Image Writer. Cool. Um, I think if you come across these, they're typically all dried out, but I believe you can put some isopropyl alcohol into the uh, body of the cartridge, and that rejuvenates it. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, so... Definitely look that up before you do it. Um, if I do end up using this, I'll look it up first. But it seems that this is still sealed, still new in box, new old stock, which is cool. So I assume there's a printer in here somewhere still, too. All right, next we have the stand for the monitor. So the Apple TC sits here, monitor sits on top, then you can lock it in, and then you get a nice little system. Um, that's kind of how I think. Apple Envision people using this. Um, it's got a little screw here that screws into the bottom of the monitor so it doesn't fall off or slide off, but definitely be setting this up. So cool, good to have. And next we have, oh, that's where the foam's coming from. So I think this is probably something to set the image writer printer on. I think you could have your, uh, the image writer used, I don't want to set it down, but the image writer used the uh, paper with the holes in the side to guide it through, and you would have a stack of that here, come up the back, go into the printer, 
And so you can keep your paper here and then print uh, without having to worry about where the paper was going to go. So just a little stand for the printer and paper together. Set that there. Got more dust covers. Um, this one could be for a printer, perhaps. Big enough, I think, for that. And another one here. Okay, so this is probably for the monitor then. So I don't know what that little one was for. But yeah, I guess this is probably for the monitor. Very cool. And then last but not least, I have the image writer itself. So we've got the uh, cable for it and the power cord as well. So it's just an IEC power cord, so nothing special. But yeah, everything seems to be here. So now uh, let's get these boxes out of the way. Uh, what I want to do next is go through the software that was included and see what all we have. So let me adjust the camera and we'll go through that. All right, so we've got the software container here disc holder. So let's go through these. First thing we have is Print Shop Graphics Library Disc 1. Print Shop is a classic. This is uh, Apple Works Startup version 1.2 backup number one. Apple Pascal Apple 1. And there's a, a blank leave behind it. There's uh, two discs, three discs in this sleeve. They look a little worse for the wear here. Some things might have happened to them. I think the glue might be coming off. Maybe hard to tell what's going on here, but it doesn't look right. Anyway, this disc is labeled Magic Spells. Um, interesting. Uh, this is a data life disk. It just says, is that F2? I don't know what it is. And then the last one in here is Jen's Report, JD, Hava Merge, LD Attendance, Mad Libs, and School. Might be a data disk of some type. Let's put this weird magic spells disk in this Older. This one is the AppleWorks 2 program disk backup. This is the AppleWorks data disk. Lauren's report. Claim letter. AppleWorks spelling stars. Next we have Print Shop Graphics Library. Disc 2, side A, side B on back. This disc seems a little sticky outy as well, but I think it's probably okay. So here we have a disc without a sleeve uh, called the Apple AI Work. I don't know, the Apple at Work. It's just dirty. It sure looks like AI though. Hmm, maybe it's Chat GPT. No, definitely at the Apple at work. So this says Pascal based 80 column. And we have an empty sleeve and two discs in a sleeve. The first one is getting down to basic. And the second one is exploring Apple logo. I'll put that one in its own sleeve. So we got two in this sleeve as well. Music Maker, uh, Salt Logic, Soul Logic, not sure, and Adventure Games. Who doesn't like Adventure Games? That sounds like fun. Next we have an empty sleeve, so let me sleeve up one of these separately. There we go. Now we have Mouse Paint Drawing Program for the 2C, 2B, 64K2+, plus, and 64K2. And 
here we have the Apple at Play. It says number six on it. I don't know what that means. Spell works. I think we had a uh, instruction manual for that somewhere. Yeah, use this side for the spell checker and the reverse side for the mail merge program. Next we have uh, MG to do copy one, but it's crossed off. And there's some faint writing on here. Can't really make it out. I think it says print shop, the print shop. And there's a star sticker on it. Cool. We got another disc with something crossed off. Uh, I think it said D D take installation 10993. But on the label here, Masters of Stale Phrase That Pays. Masters of State Phrase That Pays. Perhaps those are games. Uh, next we have Print Shop Graphics Side 2. And we have the Print, sh print Shop. Uh, next we have two discs in a single sleeve. First one is Deadline. It's got an outline of a, like a chalk outline of a body. So I'm guessing it's some sort of like solve the mystery type game. And there's actually two more discs in here. 3M Unlabeled and Print Shop Companion Side 2. Next we have Locksmith 6.0. And then we have Locksmith 6.0 Revision G. Mini Picks Side 2. An empty sleeve. An un unlabeled Dyson disc. Double speed, double density. This one is labeled Print Shop Data Lib. And there's some stuff crossed off on the uh, sleeve itself. Next one is the Micro Cookbook, copyright 1984, Virtual Combinatics. And to go with the cookbook, we have Cookbook Files and Apple Pascal Apple II. Okay, well, let's put the Cookbook Files with the Cookbook Disk. All right, next we have Dollars and Cents Boot Disk Backup. Raster Blaster, an empty sleeve. Uh, this just says Apple Turn 2. We'll put that in the sleeve, don't know what that is. Next one we have is unsleeved. It says Backgammon with Graphics. The next one is labeled Sneakers, Frogger, and Qbert. So hopefully this one works because those are all great games. Next we have an unlabeled Data Life Disc by Verbatim. Next disc is Terrapin Logo. This disc, it looks like the label's falling off, falling off but it's just a... Uh, information about the disc so it's just a was a blank disc uh, who knows what's on it now i mean who knows if any of these discs still work they're probably pretty reliable but i don't know how they were stored um, this one's labeled apple pascal and we have apple pascal apple 3 and a blank sleeve empty sleeve next we have mini pick side one This is a graphics library, the print shop, and this disc is quite bent. You can see that, I think. Yeah, that's not great. Next one is print shop companion side one. Next we have print shop graphics side one. Graphics library, the print shop side two. Next one is 
income taxes, checkbook, loan, savings, payroll, etc. Probably should make sure that disk is uh, erased. Uh, AppleWorks sample files, data disk. And it looks like we're on to our last sleeve. So we've got in here Print Shop Companion. I have a, an ABM disk that says the Print Shop and an extra sleeve. All right, so that was all of the disks that came with it. So I think the next thing I'm gonna do is get this thing set up. So I hear the disc spinning, but what I don't hear is the heads moving. So I think we'll have to take this guy apart and take a look and see what we can find out inside. All right, so as you saw, we got everything unboxed, but unfortunately it didn't just work right out of the box. So I think what we're gonna do here is spawn off a second video where we can take this TC apart, repair it, and get it back to its original state of operation. So I hope you like this unboxing video. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.